All right, hey guys, welcome, <laughs> welcome to 12U Physics Lab. Uh, today we're going to work on an impulse and momentum uh, lab. And this is quite a complicated setup, and it involves the lab quest and a motion sensor and a force sensor. And so there's a lot going on here. So what you got to do is grab a dynamics card. They're in the cabinet right there. You're going to grab a little post, which is in that case right there. And then what you're going to do is take a piece of string and run it through two elastics. So part of the data is doing, it says two springs, but instead of springs, we're going to use elastics today. And then you're going to slide your force sensor over the post and set it to 10 newtons, plus or minus 10 newtons. So that means the most it'll measure is plus or minus 10 newtons. 50 uh, is too much. And so the idea here today is we're going to measure impulse. And if you remember, impulse can be described as a force over time. So when you are ready to take your data, all you have to do is push your uh, dynamics card and it'll experience impulse. And so you're going to get a reading, a force reading and a motion reading. And so the last part, um, just as a reminder too, is that the motion detector plugs into the top of the lab quest where the force sensor actually goes into the side. And then there's something else that you have to remember uh, when you're using the force sensor is you have to zero it. So right now, if you see, our force sensor is actually not reading zero. So in order to zero it, you're going to touch that block. And you can see there's um, an option that's called zero. So if you touch zero, it actually zeroes the sensor. You don't have to uh, zero the motion detector though. And in the lab, it asks us to change the duration to three seconds. So you touch duration, change it to three seconds. And it asks for 50 samples a second. So I'll change my samples to 50. And we're ready. All right, so when you're ready to take some data, all you gotta do, so right now what I'm going to do is put one elastic band. The reason I set this up this way is then you don't have to retie your knot and retie everything on. So here's one elastic. So when I'm ready to take the data, I'm going to press play. I'm going to send it and receive it, okay, so that it doesn't hit that force sensor. And then you can see on our data, uh, we've got nice smooth curves. And if we want to zoom in, we can drag, touch graph, and zoom in. All right. I think that's everything. I will flip over the track so you can see. So the way that this is set up, oh, and also notice my, re my retort stands right up against the track. So when the, when the tra um, cart pulls on it, it doesn't slide the retort stand. So that's one thing to check. Also notice when I was sliding it, this was all lined up straight because you want all your force to be in just one direction, the X direction. And finally, if I flip this over, you can see that this is, the motion detector is attached using this uh, rail, okay? And then so when you get your motion detector, you can look at this one. I'll, I'll leave this set up so you can look at it. All right, and it goes on the bottom track. Okay, set to card. I think that's it.